Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I'm going to be telling you how you can actually build a studio or a professional like studio for under $500. Now, this is not going to be a video where I'm going to be telling you how you can get Pro Photos and Godox 8600 Pros or brown color lights for under $500. No, this is a video where I'll be telling you how you can get products that would actually give you pictures that people would think that you used those lights to shoot for under $500. Now, remember, it's not about the gear, it's about you as a person and how good you can shoot. And sometimes it's about the gear too, but <laughs> not in this situation. So, without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Now, before I get into today's video, do not forget to go out, smash on that like button if you like any of my content and if you like this video, and also subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I put up a new video. And if for some reason you still don't get notifications, then go into your phone and set or turn on notifications for YouTube. Yeah, go to your phone, turn on notifications for YouTube. Yes, and you'll be able to see me. So let's get straight into this video now. For $500, what can you do? We're going to start with lights. If you are watching this video, then I am guessing that you already own a camera. If you do not own a camera, this video is not for you because I don't know how you can squeeze a camera into a budget of $500. Now, if you can and, and you think like you can do it, then definitely put in the comment um, section below. Let me know and I'll definitely buy that camera. <laughs> but for now, we're just going to look at lights and look at like some minor or tiny studio equipment that you can actually use to get proper images so what lights do i recommend i recommend the godox ms300 now those lights go for 109 dollars and if you're gonna buy two of them that's 218 dollars now these are 300 um watt lights and they are amazing for the price trust me for 300 for 100 dollars then for 100 dollars then we actually could not get um good speed lights this was before now you can get 300 white lights for hundred dollars now the thing is that this is not an ad 600 pro and 8200 pro or the 8400 pro this is not any of those lights this light you have to connect it directly to a uh, power source and and use it that way so um it's just like it's basically uh, a minor disadvantage that you'd have to deal with also it also goes down to 132 and it does not go any lower than that so if you want um, a light that goes lower than that probably you can get like 1 to 56 then you probably have to go for the high-end lights but i feel like it's just the minor price to pay for the price of this lights for 108 dollars you're getting a 300 watt light that is just amazing it's crazy now i've not tested on any of these lights and i'm hoping to get in the studio i want to buy some of them and add them to my godox light for 108 dollars that's you, you you can't i don't think you can do better but if you can't let me know now the next thing that we'll talk about is triggers because you have to trigger your lights and what trigger do i advise you buy is the godox x1 pro trigger and you guys should definitely check that out i have i, I really do not have much to say about it than it works and it just connects with these lights seamlessly i'll put a link in the description below to all these things you can use that link to like do your research and buy whatever you feel like works for you so yeah that's it after that, the next thing that I advise you get is a reflector. Now, a reflector is my number one um, modifier I feel like everybody should own. It really doesn't matter if you have lights or you do not have lights. You should have a reflector as a photographer. It's the first thing you should buy after you get your camera. Before you get your camera, when you're getting your camera as a photographer, definitely get a reflector. These things are cheap. They go for about $20. So, let, let me just do a recap. So, we have like the lights for $108. If you buy two, that's $216. Then you have the trigger, which goes for about $69. And you have the... Um, the reflector, which goes for like $20. So, how much is that teaser? $307. Now, we are still under $500. So, let's add some more things to that. Now, after you get your... Um, reflector the next thing that I'll advise you buy like remember the reflector is the five-in-one reflector I'll put like a picture so you guys can see it after you get a reflector the next thing that I want you to buy is a modifier now what modifier would I advise you buy buy the biggest modifier you can buy at first the biggest one that can fit in your studio so if you have a home studio that's small do not buy something that's too large just buy something that can fit in probably a six or a seven foot parabolic um, diffuser is what i recommend the reason is because you can take beauty pictures with it and you can take full length portraits with it so um the lights that come out of it uh, really soft really nice and just get a parabolic umbrella and they go for about i think for about 80 dollars you can get like a parabolic umbrella and the stock you can buy for cheaper it depends if you find a good deal then definitely take it now everything i'm talking about they'll probably have deals at some point or the other and and or the other they'll probably have deals at some point or the other yes 
Still can't speak English very well. <laughs> She's just laughing. You'll probably have deals at some point or the other. Definitely check them out and you probably can buy those things for cheaper. Now, after you get your parabolic umbrella, now what would you do? Get stands because you have to put those lights and the umbrella on the stand. And stands are pretty cheap. You can get like a stand for about $20. Really cheap. They're everywhere. You can probably even get for cheaper. So I advise you buy two stands um, for both lights. So just depends on you. Definitely. Two stands. Now, if you have money and you can go further than that, then definitely get a C stand. But for this budget, we can't put a C stand inside and we just have to go with what we can afford, which is a normal stand. So after you get a stand, you have to get yourself a backdrop stand. Now, backdrop stands are really cheap. I, I, I've seen some on Amazon for about $30, $31. Pick that up and let's check how much this is now. How much is that teaser? Four fifty-seven dollars right now. So you have forty-three dollars to do and undo. Forty-three whole dollars to do whatever you want to do. And for forty-three dollars, you can pick up two savage backdrops, one white and one any other color. Now the amazing thing about white backdrops is that you can change it to black, you can change it to gray, depending on how you like. So you have that, and you can get any other colored backdrop. And now we have a studio that you can actually use to shoot amazing pictures for under $500. Now, this is my advice and these are my picks and it just depends on on you, you know. If you feel like you can do better, then go ahead and let me know in the description below. The amazing thing is you can also add um, these um, things to your existing setup. Um, if you need more lights, instead of going out and buying expensive lights or lights that are just like overpricey, you can just get the Godox um ms 300s I'm, I'm going to get one or two of those and add to the lights in the studio and it's just like 400 and i think there are some places that it goes for 103 dollars 103 to 108 dollars you just cannot go wrong with those lights so yeah now bear in mind this video is not sponsored by godox or anybody this is just me coming to tell you guys what i feel and how i feel you can build a studio for under 500 dollars i am trying to renovate my studio i am changing some things by the time you watch the next video the background is probably just going to be pure white just trying to make more videos for you guys so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video if you love this video and you feel like this helped you in any way go hawk smash on that like button like go hawk smash on like button also subscribe to this channel hit the notification icon and i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you so much. Have an amazing week. Peace. Prince Mason got that sauce.